And yes, I wear boots and jeans, and I don't apologize for it. I'm that middle-class American that Barack Obama was supposedly running for, until you saw your paycheck go down last week. Felt great, didn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, there's no such thing as gun control. Don't co-opt their language. There's only people control. And I can prove it to you. I spent 16 years of my life with a badge on my chest, which served as a target for some, unfortunately. I don't remember ever having the conversation during my years in the Secret Service that, hey, listen, we're taking the president to Baltimore, to Chicago, so let's just disarm because they have really strict gun control laws. <laughs> now, why, why is that funny? The reason is it's funny because it's funny. I never in 15 plus years of doing this is, have ever arrested or investigated someone on a gun crime who had that gun legally. Amen. So you have to ask yourself, why? It's not about gun control. Do not co-opt the language. When they own the language, they own the argument. Yes. There is a reason they are doing this. Yes. You know, folks, it may disappoint some here, but I could have carried a gun my entire time, anywhere in the United States, on planes, wherever I chose. I didn't. That was my choice. It may have been a foolish one, but it was my choice. It was my choice. It was my God-given, God-given right to be able to protect myself and my family. That was my right, not given to me by a piece of paper, only insured by that piece of paper. That is not up for debate. The right to petition, the right to assemble so beautifully on this day, the right to speech, is not given to you by the governor or the president of the United States. That is not his to give. And if it is not his to give, it is not his or her or anyone else's to take away. Anyone. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in perilous times. You know, I'm just a man. My spirit's been almost broken over this. This is our country. That flag represents something. Men and women have died horrible deaths. Horrible deaths. My uncle being one of them. Shot in the back in Vietnam to protect your very right. Your liberty, your decisions, your decision to be able to protect your family. We live, unfortunately, and Lord, it pains me to say this, but we live in a society of wolves. You do not fight back by creating more sheep. You do. These are tough times, folks. And I want to leave you with this thought. Our revolution. Our revolution was one of the only revolutions in human history where those who defeated our enemies and took power created a document that disempowered them. Here, on this soil, in this country, in this collective group of people we call the beautiful United States. It pains me to say this. I'm not a right-wing nut job. I'm not a xenophobe. I'm not a misogynist. I'm just a man. I'm just a guy who wants to live and let live. I don't mind paying taxes for our military. I will give you my last dollar to fund our beautiful veterans that come home missing, if they missing parts of their body, if they come home at all. But ladies and gentlemen, these your tax dollars to pay a government that is slowly but surely every day whittling away more and more of your ability to live and let live is not what people who died and bled for meant this country to be. That is not what that represents. That is not a piece of fabric. It is not a tablecloth. That is an idea. 
an idea that's unique to this place right now, right here. Act. Do not talk. Action matters. This speech is meaningless without action. If you here are not registered to vote, you are not part of the problem. You are the problem. And I'm sorry if you don't want to hear that. If you did not show up because it was chilly, or you felt like your vote didn't make a difference, you're the problem. If you are not out here today finding some way in your sphere of influence to echo chamber this message to 20 or 30 people, you're the problem. And if in this next election in 2014, you're not volunteering, or you're not talking, or you're not registered, or you're not voting, you're the problem. Action matters. Action changes the world. Talk is cheap. Your liberty is not. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.